Hey everyone, I'm the real Evab, and this is the A20 100 game analysis yeah, of Guardian. Still gotta work on that intro a bit. Uh, it's been about a week, <clears throat> almost a week since I did an actual run of this. Uh, if you watch the bonus episode, that was a, uh, a special uh, run during, through, bo through a boss rush mod, uh, so I don't really count that. I've, I've really been itching to get another run of, uh, end of this. Uh, so, I'm happy to be here. Alright, looks like it's going to be an Ironclad Seed. I'm seeing some pretty aggressive elite paths. So let's see what our options are. As usual, we're not going to be swapping our boss relic. It's too risky against uh, this boss in particular. We have the option to choose a colorless card. Uh, we have the option to take uh, Niao's Lament. Or, in this case, called the Heart's Malice. Or we can lose all of our gold to transform two. Take a look at our pathing here. Seeing a couple good aggressive hallway fight paths. This one especially. Uh, the left side of the map is especially good for hunting elites, it seems. As far as rest sites go, it's a bit sparse. We'd have to go towards the right. So you get a couple of them. Man, they really don't have very many. There's only five. Like, like almost just one for each path if that bottom at the bottom was gone. So yeah, if we were to go right, we'd be hitting this elite at floor six. Campfire, then burning elite. Be able to get that second one at the end of the act. You know, if we go this way, we get a normal elite, but uh, only one campfire. If we lose all souls, we're definitely committing towards the right path. I think that we'd be able to take this Burning Elite at that point. Uh, un unless we didn't get good card rewards from the first fights. If we didn't, though, we'd be going left here instead. So we'd avoid that anyways. Um, Transforms on Guardian. Uh, there's a lot of very situational cards on Guardian. Uh, mainly the ones that come to mind are the ones that uh, require you to have 20 block. Uh, that would be Harden and Guardian Whirl. And those are very, uh, those are very hard to make work in Act One. Uh, even with your starter relic, you still have to get lucky with uh, when you go into defensive mode uh, in order to actually proc it. So I usually try to avoid the transforms. Although on most other characters, I'm fine with it. Uh, and in fact, I like transforms quite a bit. I just don't like uh, taking something that would be really hard to build into. Uh, choose a colorless card is similarly, uh, well, not similarly, it's, uh, it's a lot more of a late act payoff. Uh, a lot of colorless cards can, uh, uh, at least not the rare ones, because these will always be uncommon. Uh, a lot of the uncommon cards are also very situational, so building into them, while they may, while they may be uh, pretty okay, uh, it can end up being very difficult to actually use. So I think we're going to just uh, preserve our HP in the early act, especially in a deck where we have four defends and a deck of 11 cards once we suck at the Emerald. Uh, saving HP is really, really good for us. So now, where do we go? Do we go left on the shot path, or do we go right on the all-fight path, burning elite, two campfires? Again, if we take this path, we'll be missing out on the floor six elite. In fact, we're going we're to be getting five hallways. Or five, I guess I call, count this as a hallway, but four hallways in a shop. Uh, for five extra cards, which is okay for an elite. It's pretty good. Uh, getting that 15 card, uh, hitting that 15 card uh, threshold uh, in the early game is really important. So if we skip one card, we'll have 15 for this, which is great for pretty much every fight. Uh, although I think it affects uh, sentries and gremlin knob most. Uh, because uh, if you have less than 15 cards when going into sentries, you uh, can shuffle the deck with like three or four of your cards at the end of your shuffle, and then you have to draw through all the dazes as well to get back to it. Uh, and similarly with, Grem and, uh, similarly with gremlin knob, uh, getting, your worst getting the cards that you needed to draw early too late in the, the gremlin knob fight can mean you take an extra turn or two. Uh, to kill, so it's not, it's not good. 
Uh, but of course, having 15 cards solves both of those problems. Uh, Lagavulin, like you don't need to care so much because you have time to set up. So, although draw order can sometimes be bad too. Uh, I feel like taking the second campfire at the bottom here is going to be very beneficial to us, especially with the uh, Ironclad Act. It is uh, a safety point uh, that if we need to rest uh, at that point in the act, we can. Meanwhile, we could rest here if we needed to, but uh, by that point we might have already lost quite a bit of HP. Although maybe not as much, since I have Hearts Malice. We're going to be fighting uh, these three enemies for free, getting their card rewards, and then going into two hardpool hallways, uh, an elite, and then a shop. So maybe this is okay if I want to avoid the burning elite. That being said, there's another consideration. If I go this way, uh, I will have the opportunity to break the red key before uh, the act boss, or perhaps the green key, even. Both of which can be very good for us. By the time we get to the shop, we'll have about the same gold we started with. We get on average 15 from here and then lose. Oh wait, no, we won't even lose 15, so this will be 114 on average. This will be another 45. It's up to 100 and... We'll, uh, we'll round to 160, then 190 going into this shop, uh, which then goes down to 175. So that's pretty decent for a shop. You can buy a shop relic with it or a common relic. I don't know. Both of these, uh, both of these paths seem plausible. Although, to be honest, uh, burning elites, uh, if we're not prepared for something like super sentries, uh, we would be absolutely screwed. I mean, not absolutely, but very, we would take a lot of damage. So taking that risk may not be worth it. I think uh, because we have Heart's Malice, we can afford to just have one campfire this act. So I'm going to choose to go left here. It's a pretty tough decision. I, uh, I don't like spending so much time before having even done anything in the run, or barely anything in the run. But, you know, sometimes in order to win, especially against Ironclad 1, that's what you have to do. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of taking either of these early. It's too early to take something like this for support, and honestly, this is kind of a weak card anyways. Uh, one Accelerate uh, is like a 50-50 to get a card out of stasis or not, so you're just playing a strike, essentially. But Accelerate it twice, I'd consider it a lot more often. Uh, but that's actually kind of close to like how Speed Boost, the one-cost rare card is. It accelerates for three, so I don't know. I hope those get taken a look at. I'd like a speed boost to cost zero, to be honest. But, you know. Uh, Polybeam, similarly, is almost a strike's worth of damage. Uh, it has great strength scaling, but it also, aside from the fact that it only does eight damage, also um, has a very big weakness in uh, multi enemy fights. Uh, meanwhile, Vent Steam is very, very good. Uh, one energy for two vulnerable. It's a, it's a great damage multiplier. Uh, I found this card to be very, very effective in the early game on uh, Guardian. So that's a pretty easy take with the other two. Uh, with the other two in the card reward. Wow. Whew. Already a rare. It's kind of an interesting choice, though, because we have to choose between this and Roll Attack. I don't think we take another Vent Steam. Uh, I think that's way too much setup for this early in the game. We need actual cards. Uh, exploit gems can definitely pay off uh, later once we find more gems, uh, perhaps a strength gem in the early game uh, that we can socket by the time we get down to this campfire. Uh, but roll attack is, of course, probably one of the best common attacks, if not the best, at 16 damage for 2 energy and bracing for 8, uh, and it's pretty much exactly what we need right now. Exploit gems. It's hard to pass up rares. I'm the kind of guy that likes taking rares. But we're not guaranteed to get any kind of damage before this elite, so... We could take the do-nothing card, but I think we have to take the roll attack. Feels bad. And yes, I know the shop has attacks in it, but 
you know. Ooh, Sentry Blast is really good. <laughs> There's a third event steam in the shop. <clears throat> future Plans is also great. I might actually take the Future Plans. Future Plans and Sentry Blast are both very good for Ironclad. Future Plans making it so that you have, actually have cards during turns where you drop onto statuses. Uh, and of course on 3 energy it's even better because you're not going to be playing 2 of your cards per turn. Uh, Sentry Blast is similar, uh, is also very good uh, because of the every other turn weaken, which is which matches Ironclad's patterns. Uh, for most of the fight, he will be doing exactly that, uh, attacking on every other turn and defending every other turn. So that back and forth between damage and weak is perfect counter to that. Uh, with a minor exception, I think after turn 11, uh, which he will uh, defend twice in a row. And then every fifth turn after that will be the same. So yeah. Um, I think of the two, Future Plans is better. Uh, but Sentry Blast is definitely uh, solid. I don't think I want to pay for either, either of these common cards. I could buy, buy a card remove. I think Future Plans is too strong, though. Potions could also be good, but again. Actually, is this too early to take? We're about to head into two hardful hallways. Is it too early to prepare for that late in the act, or even the elites? I want to say no, it's not. I don't think it is. It's going to be hard to make use of these potions anyway. Like, the healing would probably be the best one. I'm going to take the future plans. I guess that would have been an argument for uh, Sentry Blast, since it's actual upfront value in combats. There's a ruby we could have put in the exploit gems. It's still not too late. We can put it in fence steam. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Especially on three energy, I don't mind taking the flex. Not on not on Guardian. On Ironclad it's a different story, but Guardian, uh Guardian definitely has a much better time with uh slightly weaker cards because of uh, its defensive nature. Right, this isn't even a hard pool, this is an easy pool. It's just Jawworm. Uh, because one of the Heart's Malice uses was on the shop. Oh wow, that's a great potion to find. And Mediocre cards to find. Uh, with Curl Up and Future Plans, I don't think Recover's that great here. Uh, Incinerate is actually looking a lot better with Future Plans. I'll take it. I think we do need one more attack to make this start to go, since we took a couple of setup cards. Future plans, Ruby. Alright. Oh, and this is one of the easier ones. Great. Ooh, in fact, I can just... double attack, because they're not both attacking. That was pretty lucky, too. I think they both have a 1 in 3 chance to attack. Hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's any better way to play this, so I'm just going to end up taking 9. It's fine. It's all good. It's dead. Strength, but wow, we are set for this elite. Temporal Strike. Last time I took a Temporal Strike against Ironclad, I got punished. Uh, well, I took two of them, technically. I'm noticing that we have a lot of sockets. This might be a gem run. Uh, would I take the Crystal Ray at this point? Still have a couple more floors before our campfire. So there's a chance that we get this up to 16. Which is passable. And also works better against Ironclad due to statuses. We have another shop too for extra chances at gems. Uh... I'm actually considering it. With these potions, I think we can afford to take something like this. 
Temporal Strike has some uh, some potential with uh, the socket. Like if you have a Quartz, then it can become a deal seven cantrip. Or perhaps if you feel like it, you can put some sort of setup gem in it since it's technically free. Uh, like a Dex gem or Thorns. Sometimes a Ruby if you're desperate. Uh, but I think, I think we might actually be set up for taking a Crystal Ray for once. So let's do it. Let's have a Crystal Ray run. Maybe. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just make a mental note now. I need to keep this in mind. Making plays with this is really, really important. Uh, if I fight Lagavulin especially, this is gonna be really nice. Speak of the devil. Let's get you in there. Uh, and then let's stasis the ruby. No, if I stasis the incinerate, then by the time it comes out, I can use it to bring some other card out of stasis immediately. Because that will have that next card will have one turn left when this comes out. Ruby's tempting, but we've already drawn two of our cards anyway, so. Also, we've only gotten two potions and we've bought five things. So our potion chance is at 50%, which means I probably want to use one here. Okay. Uh, not the card draws I wanted, because uh, this two-cost attack isn't going to do anything. Oh well. Just throw it in stasis. We'll accelerate it, it'll come out the turn that's laggable and wakes up. No big deal. Okay, in our hand we got one, three, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven energy out of eight? I think it's still acceptable. Especially since next year, turn we're getting Vent Steam Roll Attack. We're gonna be too short uh, on our brace. Hmm. I guess it'll depend what we draw. Maybe I don't play a strike so that if we draw three defense, I can play them all. That's somewhat reasonable. I don't think strikes are extremely important right now. I'm gonna use the Strength Potion since this is really good for both. Uh, sentries and knob, and uh, you know, strength potion is really good against lag of bullet, who has higher health than most enemies. All right, we're not playing the strike, or are we not playing the crystal ray? Hmm. No, we're still not playing the strike. Nothing left in hand to stasis. That was something to consider, I guess. Okay, we did get curl up, which means that we're gonna have enough block for next turn. Well, for this turn, and then maybe five more for next turn as well. Let's do accelerate here. Man, we almost killed before it attacked us. That's insane. You know what, let's just do this. Let's just play all the cards. This does make things interesting for future plans, but I guess uh, if enemies aren't asleep like lag of one, then that, that probably won't happen. Ooh, that's a really good first find. Well, I guess other than ice cream. Wow. Oh, and we even get some great stuff here. Three good cards. Like, not not just even the two. Shield Charger is also pretty solid. Is it what we want? Probably not. Unless. I think this is just an easy compile package. They're... But, uh, there is arguments for speed boost with the future plans and making stasis combos. But, the pile package is just such good value. What do you do here? Maybe we don't take the compile package. Whenever you draw it in your turn, especially with three energy, it tends to dominate your hand, and it eats up your turn. But our cards are already pretty good, uh, especially since we just got Strike Dummy, those got a lot better. And we have Ruby and Vent Steam, we want to play a lot of the cards that we already have. So maybe leaning into that further with uh, Speed Boost is the answer. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. I'm definitely feeling a uh, speed boost over Compile Package here. And again, there is an argument for Shield Charger since we don't have any form of defense yet. I think uh, with the addition of the roll attack and the 
future planes, I think we'll have some uh, control over our defense. Uh, and we still have a few floors to pick up some defensive cards too. So just take this for now and uh, accelerate ourselves, uh, both literally and figuratively. Okay, uh, curl up, huh? I don't think curl up actually does anything here. But I guess it's better than playing defend. No, it's not, because we have ice cream. Uh, so we just play... Maybe we don't play anything, because we have expensive cards coming up. No, strikes are still very good damage. Let's do it. Okay, two times five. We have speed boost, that's why we play curl up. Could have blocked for five this turn. Okay. Alright, lesson learned, I guess. We take ten. That means we're probably going to end up resting at this campfire, unfortunately. It's nine. Okay, pretty decent damage. And some interesting cards. Uh, Aquamarine, I think, is pretty obvious. We're going to just throw that into Twin Slam, and we're going to be having a good time when we draw that card. Uh, I don't think either of these are great. I hate Orb Support. Pre-program, I guess, is okay. Although Future Plans is already uh, sort of pushing us out of extra stasis cards. But I want gems anyway. Uh, the speed boost, I think, would have helped with the pre-program, but this is definitely better. Alright, 65 gold. Do we have anything that we can buy here? Alright, looks like we're missing out on toolbox this run as well. Gemstone gun? Eh. Like, I can see why it's a rare relic, but I probably wouldn't buy it. Ever. Pendib? Sad. Again, we probably don't want the bed steam. We can just upgrade the one we have. This might just be a potion, and then uh, with the potion I don't have to rest at the campfire. Uh, if I do take a potion, which one? It has to be either skill or upgrade. Skill potions, uh... actually just had an interesting conversation, a uh, small conversation about this on the Discord server. Uh, how skill potions can so often be not block cards. Like, they'll just end up being uh, some sort of energy or draw or utility. Uh, so it's it's kind of like uh, the problems that Distraction has, the silent card. Uh, I'm going to come back to this in a minute. I really have to use the bathroom, uh, so be right back. All right, I'm back. Now to make this decision. I had to take a closer look at the cards. I couldn't really make a decision while I was in the bathroom uh, without taking a look at what I've got here, because Forge Pot uh, applies to the cards you already have. And, you know, I gotta choose card. I gotta choose my potion based on what I think is actually gonna save me HP in a fight. Uh, we are either up against Knob or Sentries. Uh, Forge Pot for the knob fight means I can use it on curl up to go into defensive mode faster, but I guess I can do the same thing with, uh, I guess there are a few cards that do the same thing with the, uh, skill pot. There's both the common block cards, there's resilient plate, there's shield spikes, there's, yeah, uh, multiple brace options. Uh, knob fight, uh, like, usually whenever you're thinking about using a potion to save HP, you either have to think about using it to prevent you from taking damage, or, uh, like, like ending the fight to prevent you from taking damage, or by grabbing an actual source of block or mitigation. Um, it's kind of a difficult decision. Because, like, obviously we have strikes and defense to upgrade. Actually, let's take a quick look at our damage here. This is... 36 plus 14, uh, it's 50, 66, this is currently 12, so 78 
85. Uh, so going up a bit for Ruby and Vent Steam, and then down a bit because I have three energy. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be a little bit short. I'm guessing like high 70s damage, which is just short for Gremlin Knob. Uh, but I do have the Fire Potion for that, if that's the case. So I don't think we'll have any trouble in the Knob fight. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm just taking a card for sentries. Uh, having upgraded cards means that whenever I get them on the redraw, they'll be much better for me. This is probably worth more than a skill potion in a sentry's fight, because upgrading four or five cards, uh, getting the extra value from all of them is probably worth more than just one random skill. I think that's a good way of thinking about it, because like if you even just think about strikes and defense, that's plus three damage for each strike and plus three block for each defend. So you can get like 15 extra uh, points of just raw value. I'm, I'm not sure how like to characterize that, like what kind of words to say for that. Uh, but it seems to make sense. I think skill potion would give me a, like at max nine, unless I high roll, like I do a spheric shield. Uh, also, the brace play I mentioned with curl up and roll attack. We have 19 cards in the deck. Uh, I'd have to draw these early in order for that to benefit, uh, and especially for turn two centuries where I'm taking 20, that might be a different, a uh, bit of a different story. So I'm gonna take the blessing of the forge. We're gonna see what's here. Ooh, okay. I got an upgrade. That's awesome. Should I upgrade... I don't think I should upgrade multiple cards. Uh, the random curse I don't think is necessary here. Fence Steam might be a good upgrade here. I basically get two upgrades back-to-back, uh, -back, so it doesn't matter what I upgrade first and second, I just need a plan but to upgrade for both. I don't think there's any world in which I upgrade future plans this early. It'll hurt me a lot in Act 2, even though it'll help me in the Ironclad fight. I think it's too much to ask. Uh, I could upgrade Curl Up for the eventual roll attack, but again, that takes uh, probably around three turns sometimes for it to actually work. In fact, it's about half the time, but it's four. A little bit less than half. Maybe like a third? third of the time? No, that's too low. It's very close to half the time we'd only be able to go into defensive mode on turn uh, from that uh, upgrade, so I guess it's not curl up. So I'm looking at Vent Steam. Probably not Speed Boost. Maybe it's Crystal Ray to make it better right now. This upgrade doesn't do anything except add a little bit more damage. Maybe having the control with Curl Up is worth it. Maybe having the chance of getting into defensive early is worth it. Uh, it's like a 1 in 4 for me to draw Curl Up and Roll Attack in the first two turns. It's a 1 in 2 that I draw Curl Up in the first two turns. Uh, those are... Uh, those both coincide, though, so it's not adding to three quarters or anything or multiplying to anything it's literally just a half chance that it pays off because i can take 10 damage on turn one from the sentry play curl up to go to defensive and i get enough block either way see so yeah, i definitely don't need the curl up upgrade that doesn't help anything because if i draw it in the first two then it's uh i'm going into defensive anyways so I know for a fact I'm upgrading Ben's team. Let's let's just start with that. Let's get this into Twin Slam and get this into Vent Steam like I was planning. Now. 17 cards. Let's upgrade here. 
Do I upgrade the speed boost for retain? It's a bit of a long-term play. Could also just upgrade a defend here. Upgrading a defend doesn't seem like a bad idea. Save me a bit of HP. Yeah, that has a lot of longevity, actually. By the way, even though I have this Fence Team upgraded, this uh, Forge Potion will still be useful when I draw it. Upgrade both the Crystal Wards. Obviously, the upgrades won't last the whole uh, fight, but, you know, it's an extra 4 block. I think. I think they upgrade by 2. It might be 3. Kind of like uh, Deflect upgrades by 3 on Silent. Is it the Crystal Ray? I think with the other attacks in my deck, I don't have to. Like, it's kind of making my worst attack better for now. When I could already just play other attacks like Strikes. If anything, I'd probably want to upgrade a Strike, to be honest, because they're already doing so much. Roll attack may even find that it's having a run for its money. Roll for its money? Hey. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade my defense. Let's, uh, just... Let's just... Actually... Recall time? Could be recall time. I feel like a defend upgrade is a little bit desperation. And I'm not desperate. I'm actually feeling I'm feeling uneasy as usual, because I'm about to go into four fights and then ironclad, but I'm I think I can handle not upgrading a defend. So you know what, let's just do the useless thing and recall. So that's enough. Wow. That is 22. So we're going to be taking 7 already. Unless I use the upgrade pod or the fire potion. Then I'd be taking 0. Uh, wow. 7 down to 30, huh? We are at 40%? No, 60% potion chance, I think. Yeah, 60. So we had this when we were at 50 and then didn't get a potion. I don't think. So I should, probably should use, use a potion here. Uh, if I use Forge Potion, that just saves me this turn, but next turn I might be getting attacked by all three again. And it's not actually that uncommon. It's like a 2 and 3 for each of them to attack, so it's like 8 and 27 to be exact, so just under a third. I think it's a 29.6% chance. So about 30% chance that they all attack me again. Which means I should probably use the Fire Potion. I think we'll still be good against Nob even without the Fire Potion, so I'm going to just use it. I'm going to triple defend. Wow. Strike dummy. Okay, zero damage fight, that's good. We got a block potion. We saved seven HP and now we can save 12, that's amazing. Uh, pfft, we probably take the piercing hide here. Works well with curl up roll attack. It's another block card, which goes well with twin slam. It's not really the biggest consideration, but also for act two, I think. It's important enough to take, and for centuries. So I'm gonna take it. What we got here? It is sentries. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put future. I'm gonna future plan suspense team. I think. Or do I want to take the ten damage now? No, I have the block potion. If I need to, I'll use the block potion next turn. Do I need to play the defend? I know I just said that, but like with ice cream, that actually becomes a little bit more of a, ch uh, a question. This full blocks. So. By five additional. Crazy. Speed boost? Do we keep speed boost? 
No, we keep strike. We need the damage. Although two thorns is pretty cool. If we get two strikes, we can kill that front guy. Or maybe just crystal ray with fence steam. Yeah, use incinerate and strike to kill that guy. Which means I use vent steam on this middle one, I think? Or do I try to go for this back one? I'm gonna go for the middle one. We'll try to kill the back one next and then wait to draw vent steam to use on the middle one. Gonna full block again. Uh, keep crystal ray? Comes out in three turns? Hmm. I think we'd like to go for a quicker kill. But then again, if we redraw this, it's going to cost two, and this, if we redraw this, it's going to cost one. Also, next turn, we're going into defensive with curl-up roll attack, so we're going to have plenty of block for the next two turns. This, then this, attacks again. I want to be able to kill this. Yeah, we're going to do Crystal Ray. We're safe for the next few turns. It hit defend. Wow. Probably because there wasn't a Sender Spain in here. Oh, it didn't even matter. That's why. <laughs> uh, curl up just keeps hitting a Sender Spain every time. But not here, not this time. Okay. Yep, that'll come out next time that middle sentry attacks. Also, the upgraded. Damage is going to be doing some work here. Uh, actually, can we get this kill next turn? Yeah, we can block for 10 now. We can maybe just go for this. No, I'm not putting anything into stasis. Uh, all right, this is 20. Oh, well, we have five energy. How splendid. Okay, that was a 5 damage fight. That was pretty insane. And, uh, you're late gelatinous cube. Uh, weak potion. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe now we take a shield charger? Seems reasonable. Good with future plans. Ruby is also here. We can put in defense steam. Oh yeah, Crystal Ray is doing a bunch of damage now. Uh, 16. Which, I guess, isn't a bunch, it's just passable, but... We're gonna get to see it scale up this game. I think Ruby's a mistake, uh, before Ironclad with no campfires, so... I'm gonna take the Shield Charger. Now, is the weak potion worth it, or do I keep the block potion? A lot of Act 1 enemies do not care about weak potion. They barely... it bl barely blocks for anything. Or is that true? I guess if an enemy is attacking for 13 every turn, then you get 12 block out of it over the 3 turns. But that's that's actually still kind of uh, optimistic. That's like Red Slaver only. <laughs> uh, and even then, you have other block cards in hand that you might be overblocking with. It's definitely more of a Act 2, Act 3, Act 4 thing. I don't even know if it's good for the Act 1 boss. We want to take some damage for Brace. So yeah, I'll just leave the Wake Potion behind. These both just give me more control. Although, this hand is not the greatest. I'd probably just use Block Potion here. We're at 50% Potion chance, so blocking for 9 with the, with the Block Potion is more than acceptable. I'm gonna pff, attempt to hit Fence Team with Curl up here, I think. Speed boost isn't going to do anything, is it? Unless this hits Vent Steam immediately. I do need the Brace. It's just a matter of card order here. Do that, and then we'll just leave, let it go. Could have used Vent Steam. Yeah. At least we got some extra damage now. Yeah, that would have been a kill. So I hope I have block this turn. Okay, minus four. Oh well. 
Poor choice on my... Oh, wait, no, I would have not had enough energy to play all four of those cards anyway. Maybe it would have still been enough? Who knows? Alright, we're still doing okay. Walker Claw. I don't think we need another two-cost card. We only have the one strength source since it's temporary. Planning, I would usually take at this point if I didn't already have the future plans. Spiker Protocol. No, not with one more hallway fight. We're gonna get a better card from here. Right. And we got some really easy hallway fights this act. I'm very grateful for that. We even have a Forge Potion to use in the boss fight. I don't have any money, but I do have damage. Temporal Potion's also really good. Clone. Yep, that's gonna be the way we uh, win against Ironclad. Alright, there's our 20 cards. Uh, 15 card rule is the same rule as 20 card rule uh, for Act 1 bosses, so... Hopefully we're actually, like, prepared this time. Oh god. Wow. 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 It's a terrible hand for clone. Good thing I can just put it into stasis. I don't think I'm using Forge Cloth in this hand. I'm gonna save energy as well. Okay. So we can't go into the defensive this turn, we'd have to take the damage from Wild Strike. I do have 4 energy though, so I can go Vent Steam, Incinerate, Piercing Hide, Defend, and Clone, Shield Charger. And put Shield Charger into Stasis. Uh, only problem is it's only going to be effective for one turn against Ironclad's attacks. Hmm, that's actually kind of bad timing. It's really bad timing, actually. Although if I go into defensive mode, it's kind of okay. Is the next one the Immolate or the... Or just the uh, Thunderclap attack? Let me take a look real quick. Ironclad 1. Yes, turn 4 is the Immolate turn, although it's by itself, so it's only 21 damage. I don't think it's worth using Clone on Geo Charger. Maybe it's worth doing that. Maybe it's worth putting Shield Charger in once. What else would I clone here? Probably one of the uh, attacks that come in next turn? That's reasonable. Alright, let's play both of our block cards first, I guess. Maybe... Maybe it's Blessing of the Forge? Tough decisions all around, really. Or, actually, I could use Temporal Potion. Bring Clone out, put Shield Charger in, use Temporal Potion twice. To block for a bunch. Uh, would be 20 block by itself? That's pretty good. Although that would leave me with zero energy. So that'd be it. Just be that 20. And then I lose out on uh, the Emily turn for... Actually, no, I don't, do I? Because I have Roll Attack Curl up to go into defensive by then. Seems reasonable, but it's also reasonable to just take the damage. This is 26 incoming. We have 12. So we take 14. That actually puts us into defensive exactly with Piercing Hide, but, uh, bracing for three. Which means that by the time the Immolate turn comes around, we'd actually have all the block we need. Which means we don't have to use Shield Charger. That might actually be worth it.
Also, I'm going to ignore the incinerate. We're just going to grab this next turn. And we're going to leave this as is. Uh, yeah. We're going to put incinerate in. 14 damage. Exactly into defensive mode. Can we get a good card to clone? Twin slam? Twin slam. We could do a really big play with Crystal Ray this turn, though. We clone Crystal Ray, use Speed Boost, that gets Incinerate out and puts Crystal Ray down to 1. We use Incinerate to get Crystal Ray out. We have two Crystal Rays in hand. Then we play one Twin Slam, get two more gems. Those are both doing 30 apiece. Yeah, you know what? Let's rush down this guy. And in fact, why don't we even use Blessing of the Forge here? Actually, let's double check this. Uh, we'd be doing Clone on Crystal Ray. Twin Slam. This would be free. The other Crystal Ray would be free. Then we'd be playing... Uh, speed boost and crystal ray as well, so that's four energy. We don't play the second slam. Actually, this should just accelerate immediately. Ooh. If I upgraded it. That doesn't change anything. <laughs> At least if I want to play the speed boost, it doesn't. Is that the most damage we can do? I think it is. So I'm going to do that play. Uh, Blessing of the Forge, like I said, is really good. Here. I don't think it's any better here, so let's just use it. Here we go. Let's do this first. I guess if I didn't want to upgrade the speed boost, I could have upgraded the incinerate instead. Maybe I don't play the incinerate so it still costs zero the next time I see it. That's reasonable. Because now I can just play the speed boost to grab this out. Alright, so check it. Because you're doing 20 damage a piece, because I upgraded them. Twin slam, two more gems. 24. Because the second slam comes into play. Pretty crazy interaction. Uh, I mean, it's 10 damage, but I think we can do better. Uh, I think Accelerate is going to be a lot more useful uh, than the raw damage. Uh, let's grab this out in a couple turns, I guess. It's going to go away. We're going to need the defense on the, ta on the actual turn he attacks, and not in two turns from now when he's defending. We have a lot of block for a turn that we did that much damage. That would be real. It's 24. Is that even worth doing? I think we just play curl up. Okay. It makes the decision easy. Okay. Pretty stacked stasis slots right there. Let's draw some good cards, please. Awesome. Vince Team's here. And I'm not going to play the second slam yet. I'm going to play Crystal Ray. So that I keep... Because as soon as this exhausts, I lose the damage. Okay, four energy for next turn. Still great. Uh, I might as well just put this in. Draw, redrawing vulnerable so early was really good for us. Oh, and we even drew the incinerate. It's so good. We just have a kill. We're that strong. Maybe I didn't need to take that damage earlier, but I think it was better to do it that way. Maybe I didn't need to use the potion. You'd never be too safe. <laughs> All right, interesting options. Gem Finder for our remaining uh, slots. We have Vent Steam, Roll Attack, Incinerate. I don't know if we're going to be getting any more uh, sockets, though, is the thing. That is indeed the problem. Because, as I've said before, they mostly come on common cards you don't want to take in the late game, such as common attacks. Uh, we already have a Vent Steam, plus we have 
Piercing Hide would be like one of the two I would take. Uh, and even then, the other one is yeah, one of the two block cards I would take. And the, and the other one doesn't have uh, a socket. So it's between the Speed Boost and Onyx, I think. Especially since Onyx is a gem in itself, it would be able to power up our uh, Crystal Ray pretty immediately. Actually, the fact that we have Crystal Ray might be a reason enough to take it. Uh, to take more gem uh, sockets. Uh, but seeing what we did with speed, but with accelerate already, we might just want another speed boost. I'm not sure if it would be too much or not. Because it still requires uh, multiple turns of setup to be good. Maybe one is enough. I'm uh, with the incinerate in the deck. I think having one of each is enough. So I'm going to take the Onyx. It's pretty fun anyways. Alright. We're not taking Wanderbots. We already have enough Stasis stuff. So it's between Sozu and Philosopher's Stone. Fourth energy is really good in this deck, so I'm glad that I got uh, forced into three energy options. Although, I, I'm, well, rather, I'm not upset that I got forced into three energy options. Uh, having the options means I can take the, the best one, at least. So, uh, evaluating Sozu versus Philosopher's Stone, uh, I, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, Sozu, uh, whenever you're getting rid of potions, you have to evaluate what potions are doing, and potions are meant to get you out of emergency situations. Uh, uh, either by creating an immediate uh, way to get out of your situation, such as like a block potion and weak potion can be immediate ways to uh, stop damage from coming in, uh, or you can get some kind of damage potion to kill things faster uh, or immediately uh, and not take the damage because and prevent the damage that way. Uh, or uh, if you have something like power potion or so, something a little bit uh, stranger that doesn't have very much upfront value, you save it for specific fights uh, such as Book of Stabbing, which has a unique um, requirement in order to beat it. And that's uh, scaling uh, and quick scaling at that because it has 170 max HP, uh, I think. So you could save your uh, power potion or strength potion for that fight specifically. So we'd be losing out on that. And not having stuff for emergency situations can hurt uh, because it means that uh, those situations can be the times where you take a ton of damage all at once. Meanwhile, uh, Philosopher's Stone is... Uh, similar to that in that you take more damage, but it's more spread out. Uh, so if you have uh, ways to overblock a bit, uh, such as if you had passive block from one of your relics, uh, then like if you're uh, then taking uh, Philosopher's Stone wouldn't be as bad. So I guess it's a question of what your deck can do better. Can your does your deck have good control uh, and can burst block? Or can it block more consistently? And I think our deck blocks more consistently than it does burst. Uh, especially with future plans, we have uh, decent control. Uh, hmm, actually, future plans means that we have control over when we block. I don't think we really struggle with either too much, but I do think we struggle a little bit more uh, with emergency situations. Guardian usually does because he uh, because it's. Um, because it requires time to set up. So setup time means that you're left vulnerable early on in a fight, so you need stuff for that kind of emergency situation. Uh, by the way, I usually like taking Philosopher's Stone more anyway, because uh, more damage equals more HP damage equals more brace. So I think it's sometimes even an upside. I think this is just very okay uh, as a downside. All right, so let's see. couple three elite routes they all start on the right there's a shop there which is great uh actually not so great we've been we've been spending our money in act one let me be still okay i think i am just gonna go that way what do the rest sites look like oh they're all at the top 
Oh, there's only five again. Amazing. And they're all at the top, so if you want two, you gotta avoid this first elite, which means that the second half of the act is very risky, unless you're strong. We may end up getting that strong. We've already felt very strong against Ironclad. Make it better. Probably gonna want to upgrade this clone just to speed things up. I get that little bit extra accelerate. Also, I do think we want to take fights early on. Uh, more card rewards means that uh, we get more gems, which means we do more damage. And of course, I'm looking for stuff like Amber to sock it into incinerate, incinerate. Uh, maybe even like piercing hide. Uh, in order to uh, make our combos uh, pay off faster uh, so that our setup time is not so long or maybe even non-existent. After all, stuff like speed boost can uh, make stasis uh, immediately beneficial rather than in a couple turns. Question is how many? There are two easy pulls before the hard pulls begin in Act 2. Uh, it's one less than Act 1 and the same goes for Act 3. So if we take all the fights, we're going to be here in Snake Plant territory, also Spirit Guardian Sentry territory, uh, also Sentry and Mystic, Sneko. I don't think we'd mind Sneko. Got Shield Charger, Crystal Ray Roll Attack. A couple three cost cards, and we have future plans for anything else that doesn't work. Uh, plus a good potion for that. It's actually kind of a good emergency potion if you have Stasis support, which we do. Grab whatever else, uh, grab whatever you want from stasis, pretty much immediately. <clears throat> it's also events in Act 2, they might just give me fights anyway. Uh, Woman in Blue and Augmenter event, I think, are both Act 2. Actually, I don't know if the woman in blue is just Act 2 or all time. I think it's just Act 2. I've never really noticed when it happened, but it does feel like Act 2. Uh, I don't know. We're also only at 57 HP. Hmm. thing is, I can't just pick a campfire because the two routes are on completely different fire routes. Which is unfortunate. Bottom of the act look like again? Looks like that. I don't know what to do here. We did get three combat re specific relics. the rest of the act what does the rest of the act look like after here we have more hallway fights to go through a couple events if we want this would still be an easy pool if we decide to go for just one fight and then at the end of the act we have a couple more i mean this second half of the act is so aggressive i guess that means we take the events early so that we can save more hp yeah we're already strong on cards we can afford to maybe play it a little bit safe for now for this act and break the ruby it means we don't get this shop as much, but maybe that's okay. Alright, where do we put the Onyx? Grinder that we do have a Twin Slam plus. So we can put it either in Vent Steam or Piercing Hide. I don't think we need to put it in Vent Steam. Like, the strength is nice, but our damage is coming from multiple sources. Uh, I don't think a permanent strength is as good whenever we have something like Crystal Ray and Roll Attack. It gets a little bit better with future plans, but if also if we just want ways to get strength, we can just find an actual strength card rather than trying to mess with temporary buffs. Uh, meanwhile, putting in Piercing Hide is great because you get to keep Thorns, and also you like playing it after Twin Slam. Uh, I think the main, I don't, I don't think that's very much different than Vent Steam since Thorns is not very useful either, or well, one stack of Thorns. Uh, but at the same time. Um, 
it leaves vent steam's other socket open to do something else like maybe you put another strength in or maybe you put an accelerate in that would be nice uh, or maybe you just put a ward in for safety or uh yeah quartz i think there's a lot more better options for vent steam uh than piercing hide so i'm gonna just throw this in the piercing hide i don't think either of these really warrant onyx to be honest so in it goes that strength is going to help us so much. I don't think we need to rely on the shop so much. If you could buy a Vajra in the shop for 100 gold, would you do it? Maybe not in this deck, but, you know, we have to spend the gold anyway, so with that in mind, maybe. Okay. So now what? Just a couple extra block and temporary thorns. Doesn't do anything special with the onyx. Clone upgrade was something I uh, mentioned before. Get the accelerate a little bit faster. the greatest upgrades. I don't know. Could have taken a fusion hammer, maybe. I actually probably would have taken a fusion hammer. It would have made future plants a little bit worse, but hey. Uh, at least in the long run. Maybe now I just upgraded defend again. <laughs> Save a little bit more HP with the Philosopher's Stone. That may actually just be the best play. I don't think anything else actually helps our build that much. Clone uh, doesn't get any card out of stasis immediately, and there's something in there already. And uh, we have Accelerate from Incinerate and Speed Boost that would be competing as well. I guess Incinerate would be helpful, Speed Boost not so much. Wouldn't be doing anything that Speed Boost couldn't do. Could upgrade Shield Charger, but I think it blocks for enough already that we just want to upgrade our other stuff. And of course, Piercing Hide only upgrades for two block and one thorns, which I think is weird. It's a worse upgrade than Defend. Like, I think the one thorns is objectively worse than the Defend. Uh, than uh, one block. Uh, objectively, like, I mean in most situations, like the vast majority. In decks where you absolutely need damage, then sure. Uh, but... I don't think it's curl up either because we have future plans. The brace doesn't matter. Maybe it does with shield charger. Yeah, we're just gonna upgrade defend. Weird upgrade, but you know, just how it goes sometimes. We gotta fight anyways, okay. Will we get two of them though? I'm just gonna put both of these in. And then save the last of our energy for next turn with ice cream 20 block this twin slam does less damage than this uh than the strike so i think it's i think we prioritize the strikes over the twin slam especially since we're not blocking for any more next turn we're going to be getting a shitload of block from defensive mode and our two shield chargers so we just we're going to save our energy again Use it on cards, I can use it more. We don't need the speed boost, I'm just gonna strike. And future plans is at the bottom of the deck. Wow, we almost got the kill. Guess I should have played the, the twin slam. Probably overdid it a bit. Now we need to actually do 20 damage. Uh, we can block, though, at least. I think. 18 out of 24? Man, that's sad. Definitely wish I played the Twin Slam. Oh well. 
Ooh, another crystal ray for more damage? Wait. Are we actually taking a second crystal ray for damage? We might be. I think we are. Ooh, I think this is the first time we've gotten this. Ancient writing. Uh, in downfall mode, this has a special third option for every single, uh, for every single villain. Uh, we still have the remove a card and upgrade all strikes and defends, but now we have brace two that we can add to all of them. So whenever we play strikes and defends, we that gets us closer to defensive mode. That actually seems pretty good. But is it better than remove a card or upgrade all strikes and defense? That's another question. Well, we did upgrade and defend already. We got Baylor's Lordly played. They'd be bracing for three, which is an insane boost for uh, eight cards. Uh, nine, 10, 11, even. 12? Yeah, we got four brace cards already. Definitely want I definitely like taking the cooler option. Uh, upgrading all the strikes would mean they do 12 damage a piece. Which is good. It's very good. Actually 13 because of our strength. Man. And then, of course, remove a card, but remove a card's kind of difficult when you have Strike Dummy, making your strikes better. I guess at some point they have to go anyways, but... I feel like that one card remove is not going to be good enough for right now. And, you know, card removes are very good for the future. I think this Brace 2 is also really good for the future, so I'm going to just take it. Can I get, like, 20 gold from you, please? Guess we're gonna keep a strength here and not play the Crystal Rays. We're also gonna take 10 damage. Uh, we go into defensive here. Check it out. That's our defensive mode because of that, uh, event. We would have been taking 7 this turn otherwise. Maybe... Okay, maybe four, <laughs> uh, if we had upgraded all. Would have been seven if we had removed a card, so. Oh man, we have one thorns. <laughs> oh man, the one thorn's not making a difference. I'm eating my words. It didn't make a difference. It just died a turn earlier. Okay, hi Fierce Bash, how you doing? I actually have Accelerate to use you this time, but I don't know if I want to. Do I want to instead take an Emerald? Maybe put it in the Incinerate. Or the Vent Steam. Well, that's a little weird. You could also take a Temporal Shield for some extra draw, but I don't think we have to do that. It's upgraded, though. Uh, I actually really want to take this Emerald just so... just so we have something to socket later. Uh, defensive scaling with uh, dexterity can be very powerful. And, you know, we're already kind of, we're already starting to lean into defensive mode a little bit, uh, but aside from the fact that I don't know if it's enough, it, uh, it can't hurt to go even further. It's like, if you're safe, you're, if you're not dying, you're winning. At least in theory. Most of the time, if you're not dying, you're winning. Sometimes if you're not dying, you're just delaying. I don't think we take the Fierce Bash. I think we want to be doing other stuff with our Accelerate. We already have plenty of damage in our cards. So we don't need a damage engine. So it's either Emerald or Skip. I'm probably undervaluing Temporal Shield, and I know I probably am, but I still don't want to take it. So let's see. Can we afford the Emerald? Can we kill this Elite if I go there? That's another big question. We 
might have the damage for Book of Stabbing. Usually you get one free turn against it, one extra turn. I feel like we're going to take a lot of damage. I only have this one campfire. Might just go here to rest. What is that, 21 HP? So we did 62 for the rest of the act. Meanwhile, if we take this elite, we're going to probably be at high 40s, which is maybe not enough. I think we have to go left. Take another uh, question mark. We had some good offense, but our, uh, it's not fast enough to kill these things efficiently. I'm going to take the Emerald. I think we can make it work before it becomes a hazard. Uh, well, we're not hitting a shop anytime soon, so I can't exactly remove these curses. This is more set up, even though it's a, sometimes a good curse. I uh, don't really want a relic. Yeah. hate this event so much. Alright, do I want to put this in anything? How good is it in Vent Steam? If I draw it with block cards, it's okay. If I draw it with the uh, Piercing Hide, then I actually get some permanent decks. But I guess the same is uh, true for Incinerate. Incinerate creates combos, but it can be damage or block. If it's a block card, then we're going to like the fact that it had the dexterity in it. But I also kind of just want the uh, Amber Gem to go in it. To get the Double Accelerate and make it more consistent. Maybe we don't need to though. Because we have Speed Boost. And potentially Clone Plus eventually. Also Emerald is going to help us do more damage so I think I have to do it right now. I am going to put it in Incinerate. And like I said, we're going to rest. Actually, what's better? Is it better to rest or to upgrade before a, uh, before a uh, chest? I guess if we're taking the green key leap, we're always taking the blue key, so we're not getting any kind of relic from the chest. Because this guarantees a, a campfire after the middle mid-act chest in Act 3, but if we kill it, then uh, it's not guaranteed, so we have to take the key now. I don't know if we can even take a super. We probably can with the HP and the potion. Alright, well if we're going to do that, I might as well just rest. doesn't matter in here. Ceramic fish? Okay, we skipped. We got the gold from the chest anyway, right? Hey, 10 more max HP. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely feeling a lot better about that elite now. But what in the world do we upgrade? We got... We actually fought our two uh, easy pools already, so... Any... Hallway fights are hard pulls now, so we got three of them coming up. Guaranteed, maybe four. Did we just upgrade another defend? I think we just upgrade another defend. Just increase our defense. It's not doing so hot. Just to make it a little bit hotter. Yep, 25. But we're okay. We are completely okay. 1177. That's 25. Uh, now this is a fight you want to take a little bit slowly. I don't think Strike gets me any closer to defensive mode right now, since Curl Up Roll Attack is the only way to go in. Actually, with the other Strikes in defense, that's not true. Do I want to save my energy, though? I don't know.
If I do this, then she's guaranteed to heal. If I don't, then I think she's guaranteed to buff strength. I think not buffing strength is defensive enough to play. Alright, heal him. Okay, okay. Put you in? I guess I should have played one to get a little bit closer to defensive mode. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Can I kill this guy this turn? 25 plus... No, sorry. 28 plus 34 is... 28 and 34... 62, okay. 28, 34, 62. Okay. Cool. I will clone the roll attack, I guess, to go into defensive faster. Yep, goodbye. Uh, I guess you can go in. Who needs curl up? Stasis. Stasis needs curl up. Boop. Kaboop. Nice potion. Really nice gem. Uh, maybe not so much here, though. It's okay in Vent Steam, but not amazing. Sentry Blast. Probably not needed. The weak in every other turn might be okay, though. Our deck is still lacking on defense, but I think we have ways to scale up decks eventually, so. Do I want the Amethyst in case I get a Bobble Burst? Or in case I get the Grim for uh, the Ominous Forge event for Twin Slam to give me an extra spot? Nah, Twin Slam's already defensive enough. I think we skip on the Amethyst and look for better gems. Like another Aquamarine, that would be nice. Two Aquamarines actually would be really nice. I guess Sentry Blast has combos with Accelerate, since it always comes out in one turn. Forgot about that. Never really thought about that too much, but it's pretty obvious in retrospect. It's something I should be looking for in my uh, deck building, I guess. Is it too much to ask with our current setup? With future plans and curl up? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a little bit clunky both in stasis and in the card draw. Yeah, I'm not going to take it. If I had uh, perhaps more stasis slots, I would. Do I take this fight now that I have 72 HP? We know it's not Centurion Mystic, so... That actually makes our pool a little bit more dangerous. But I think we still do it. We have such high HP. We need to make use of it. Uh, Shield Charger Speed Boost Curl Up? What is into defensive immediately? Wow. That's certainly a play. Or even better, strike defend curl up. Sorry, strike defend speed boost curl up. To just get shield, shield charger and get the block over time. This is 14. Okay, yeah, I like that play. So now if we draw literally any strike or defend, we go into defensive, which is perfect because we need to block this turn and next turn. Great, okay. Uh, roll attack, I guess, is also a thing. This gives us 30 block. We have... Yeah, from... An... Yeah, we'll get 30 block. We'll take 23. We'll go down to 7. Uh, we'll get another 10 from defensive mode. 17 plus... 724, which is exactly enough for Spirit Guardian. Okay, we can just play our damage then. 
Oh, never mind. We just kill this guy. Cool. That also works for me. I don't think Ben's team does anything here. Let's just do the damage. Okay. I guess we clone strike. No, we clone incinerate. Big brain. I guess it doesn't actually do anything if I put crystal ray into stasis. But the dexterity's good, I guess? Okay. We'll just do it this way. 21 damage. Probably need the block cards next turn. And if I don't hit it, I'll use one of these potions. Okay, we definitely hit our block. Look at this. Oh, we're even in defensive mode again, okay. Cool. Liquid Bronze, nope. Prismatic Barrier. A lot of sockets. Another Incinerate, that I said, that I said actually better. Get another Accelerate Target. Accelerate Card, I mean. That was the one without the gem, too, so that's the one we just added to the deck, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, this is already doing 10, so let's see if this gives us 12. Nope, the dex happens after, okay. Uh, we're already going into defensive from this hit if we play a strike. I mean, this is 18 damage, I don't think I can say no to that. Alright, put me in defensive. 32. I have to play this to full block. Okay. So I can't do that, like I was thinking. I guess this is almost exactly the same, but I actually get to play curl up. Okay. Just doing twin slam, twin slam, defend. Well, that's 40, not 35. Okay. For the next turn, it's dead. Most likely. Maybe it's not. Nope, it's dead. Cool. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Blood vial. Nice. Alright, fragmented gem. I still don't think we're at the point where I take that. We still have an entire act to get more gems, and I'm not too picky. I am picky enough not to take that, though. That's trash. I don't think we want another vent. Well, maybe we do because of the sockets. Yeah, let's take it. I'll take it. Hey, there it is. Add a socket to any unsocketed card. Unsocketed? Add a socket to any socketed card. Uh, I don't think we need Rummage. I don't think we need... I don't think we need the, uh, Warp Tongs. We're already doing pretty fine without the, uh, the upgrades. So I'm just gonna add a socket to Twin Slam. Alright, now I... Now I'm probably gonna not be too picky to take a, uh, Fragmented Gem. Let's see what's in here. Regenerating Slavers. 
I don't think we have enough damage to kill this no matter what we do uh, with our cards anyway. So we're just going to start with that. Uh, Crystal Ray Twin Slam kills this immediately. And then we have the second slam. Uh, we have Gelatinous Cube, so we don't have to kill this guy fast at all. We also use Roll Attack to get a little bit more Brace. Uh, in fact, that would... This is blocks for 14. 10, 8, 8 is 26. Okay, so we can't use Defend here. Which means we're going to be locking for 8 no matter what we do. Right? Maybe Twin Slam, Twin Slam, Strike. It's 26. Plus this. Plus four brace, wait. No, that would be from taking the damage, okay. How much is this though? Three, five, seven, five, seven nine, 21, 23. So we take 14 that way? Okay, it's still not good. All right, we're doing this then. Over roll attack? No, no, I'll do roll attack. Don't need to create the 8 damage. It's, it's not even 8 damage, it's 5. We gave up 5 damage. Sorry, 3. Math. Wow! At least we have Strike and Defend with uh, stuff on them, huh? So we full block this turn. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Bronze Gear. What do we clone, if anything? How about nothing so we have enough energy for next turn? Yep. Okay. Twelve damage card. What we needed, and we did not get. Wow. I am gonna need this for next turn, so. Shield Charger Curl Up? With Speed Boost? I don't know. It's 36 already, wow. Yeah, we don't need to play Curl Up here. In fact, I'm gonna just uh, grab some Thorns. Uh, I'll keep that for next turn, I guess. Take three more damage. It's fine, though, I guess. Broom's pocket entry is great. Whoa! <laughs> My prayers have been answered. Hello. Uh, sorry, Garnet. I just took a twin slam. Uh, bent steam. Twin slam? I just took a bent steam. Uh, I think this is a pretty obvious ruby. Uh, thorns are not what we're doing. Garnet is not necessary with five stacks of vulnerable right now. I guess maybe if you wanted to make a case against enemies with artifact, such as the heart on its second cycle, uh, you could, but I think ruby is just good enough for us. I don't mind having Evan socketed. We have 54 HP. I almost said 52, but we have, uh, we have, uh, blood vial. Okay. Uh, twin slam, twin slam defend. Actually, it's already 8. 10 plus 5 is 15. It's still on a full block. It being weak in this turn is a little bit unfortunate. I actually would have liked it not to be. Because I would have full blocked anyway, but now next turn I have to worry. I don't need the vent steam. I'm going to take the speed boost for a combo. Should I have used Proof Sharpness? Perhaps. Oh, it would have been 9 times 3? I still don't regret it. Uh, but... That 
That is 36 block. Also, I'm not playing Curl up this turn. We are going. We are not going to go into defensive for next turn because it's not an attack turn. Said Curl will go in. Actually, maybe I should put the defend in since I'm probably going into defensive anyways. Uh, nope, we have Curl up. Uh, sorry, defense anyways. Get a bit extra uh, block for next turn. And I guess we'll put it into defend. I don't care. Yeah, these crystal rays are actually doing some good damage. Happy I took them. Uh, time capacitor? I don't think we've needed that yet. Again, if I had... <laughs> I guess we can't really have one without the other, huh? Sentry Blast without time capacitor and vice versa. Uh, planning, not needed with future plans. We're going to upgrade that at the start of Act 3. Uh, we're not going to have any shortage of stasis slots filled. So... And Temporal Shield, I still don't think we need, so... On we go. Alright, these guys are gonna be a little bit difficult. This is an extra 10 damage. It's another strike event, I guess, plus whatever next turn. Alright. Not gonna play Piercing Hide, it's not necessary. Or the Defend, even though it would give, give us two Brace. Is that enough? No, it's not. No, it is not. But cloning it, then speed boost would be. But then these two are still attacking, so let's just do shield charger things, I guess. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to accelerate it once. So this is 18 out of 21. I can do all the block right now. And then next turn be sad? No. I'm gonna choose to be happy. Wish I had some thorns. Hey look, I have thorns. Oh, roll attack's doing stuff though. Goodbye. Uh, incinerate doesn't actually do anything for me here, so I'm gonna just play the... Strike on the front one, and then end turn. So, one thing about Guardian is that I still don't have a great feel for how much HP I need with certain decks. Uh, I just feel very insecure about some things that I apparently didn't need to be insecure about. I've had plenty of HP, I've been prepared for all these fights, at least it seems that way. Maybe I've just been getting lucky draw orders. They have felt lucky sometimes, I won't lie. Uh, this is 34. Let's do this. Okay. Ooh, dupe potion. I'll take that over for sharpness any day. Well, maybe not any day. On the days I'm in Act 1, it's probably better to have proof sharpness, and when you don't have very good cards. Another emerald? Yeah. I'll take another emerald. Get those gems in. Let's get these... Let's get these bad boys up. I've gotten them to, like, 40 damage before. Uh, actually, a lot more than 40. With other modifiers, I've gotten them up to 99 once. That is... That is an actual number. I was disapp I remember it because I was disappointed it wasn't 100. Uh, do I just play all four strikes in defense? Get that eight brace? That's probably necessary. For what's happening soon. Even though it uses all my energy, I would like to save it for ice cream, but you know. I think this is better this way. Yeah, check this out. Go to the defensive. What is her next turn? What is her next turn? Watcher 2. Blasphemy. Wave of the hand like water defend. Okay, so she's literally not attacking next turn. Which means we can just block. I guess we'll do something like this. Yeah. Get to keep it dex. We'll keep roll attack for later. We don't need it yet. We'll draw it before the deck shuffles. In theory. Or we can just speed boost it immediately. Why don't we clone this crystal ray? Or do we clone the speed boost? 
Loading speed boost could be very interesting. But I don't think we are at that level yet, so... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do this. And our damage. So yeah, just wall up this turn? Okay. Oh, and then next turn, she's actually playing that. Mm. Well, we should still be able to do quite a bit of damage next turn. We, were able, we went into defensive a little early. Which sucks, but you know, sometimes it's just like that. Maybe I end up using dupe push on one of the damage cards. Uh, I'm gonna get this out of our draw pile since she's already... Uh, vulnerable for a few turns. Alright, Twin Slam for, uh, Ruby first, then Twin Slam. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I made this distinction, but it deals two additional damage for all, for each gem in all of your socketed cards. So that unsocketed Ruby doesn't help, uh, the damage. Okay, two away. Minus twelve. Okay. I... I guess we use Temporal Potion, actually. Since duping Curl Up won't do anything, we're gonna do this. That's 42 damage incoming, right? Maybe this was incorrect. She's gonna get 4 strength. Okay. So that'll be 7, 20. Okay. Yeah. That's enough. It's gonna be 42, right? You're not, you're not joking with me? Correct. Now she's intangible, so if we don't draw all of our damage at once. We drew all of our damage at once. Uh, but thankfully we have uh, the ability to just uh, play curl up. Which I want to hit one of our damage cards. Oh, go figure. <laughs> uh, after this turn, what does she do? Next turn, she's just doing another Consecrate, so it's barely any damage. Okay, I'm just going to bank my energy then. Uh, we have we have a speed boost in there, so if we accelerate, we're going to be able to get out Crystal Ray pretty much immediately. Alright. You ready for this? Oh wait, it's not even, not even going to happen this turn. We'll go into defensive now, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, her next turn is a uh, pretty big damage turn anyways. Follow-up, Flying Sleeves plus Strike, and she plays all of them. That's, uh, 41 damage, it seems. So we're gonna get 10 more next turn. I guess we need to play Defend, then. It's fine, we have 5 energy. Go into Stasis. Man, the amount of uh, defensive mode control is so good on these. I'm surprised that it was allowed to be uh, <laughs> uh, in this form. Six. What happened here? Why didn't I get the extra 10 block like I thought? Oh, because she was attacking for 9. And I just forgot that she does damage. Still don't need this. Uh, hmm. Don't know what's going on here. I guess the sockets will still come in handy. And maybe if the deck keeps getting bigger, we'll be happy that we had those. Anyways, we get to do all the damage this turn. Oh, she's dead. Cool. Thank you, Ice Cream. Oh, there's the Bobble Burst. Uh, there's also Gem Finder. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six. Five, four. Empty slots. I don't think four is enough to just justify taking Gem Finder. I'd rather take the Bobble Burst, I think. And then we just take every gem we see. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh my, Pandora's box? No way. No way are we taking Pandora's with this deck. Tiny house? Eh. Not against, not against Pyramid. Pyramid just wins.
Defect. Okay. So we fought Ironclad, we fought Watcher, and we fought Defect. So that means we're going to have to kill very fast. Good thing our deck already kind of does that. And by kill very fast, I mean in Act 4, whenever uh, Neil gets those heroes buffs. Buffer stopping whatever damage we do is a little bit annoying, but thankfully we have strikes. I don't think the phrase, thankfully we have strikes, has ever been said before. So you heard it here first, folks. Uh, since we just got Pyramid, I'm going to take a break so that my mind is fresh. Uh, so I'll be back in just a couple seconds. And we're back. All right. Okay, we gotta pick our elite path. I'm just noticing that I said pick elite path. Uh, you know, that's not always what you're doing, of course. It's just where my mind immediately went, because I'm feeling somewhat powerful. Uh, I feel like I should be going for at least one shop, maybe two. Maybe I just head straight through here. Then either take another campfire or a fourth elite. Head towards that bottom shop, take this top shop. That seems pretty good. Uh, act three events are really, really good. Two of them involve fights, uh, and one of them involves the merchant, so I don't see why I shouldn't just do it. Uh, especially since I haven't killed the merchant, I have 220 gold already. I can just break the final key anyways, so... Just grab two events and go? Alright. Let's break the emerald. So what are we going to do now? This probably goes in the other event, Steam. I could put the Dexterity Gem in Bubble Burst, but uh, I don't think that's the best play. I think I'd rather look for a better gem. If I don't find one, then whatever gem is fine. But we don't have to do that now. Strength, event Steam. And you know what? We might as well just put the Dexterity in the Incinerate, just like last time. We could put it in the Twin Slam, uh, but I also want to keep that open in case we get an Accelerate Gem, uh, which I also think would be very nice. Uh, honestly, any gem that goes well in Bubble Burst would be great in Twin Slam, except for Amethyst, because it's already a 14 block card. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to put this in, in Incinerate, like I said I would. Uh, and we're only 7 HP away from full, so why don't we get an upgrade? In fact, why don't we just upgrade Bubble Burst immediately? I don't know if we're going to find enough gems to fill all these sockets, but I do think that having this available is really important. So let's go. Colorless cards. I mean, I can afford them. I have all the keys broken. Uh, do I need random utility? I don't think so. I think we actually want less random utility. I don't feel like I need these. Literally, I have no need to enrich the inspect Despicable Merchant. Oh my, Quantum Chamber is here. The start of your fourth turn, return it and two copies of it to your hand. So you get to multiply a card by three as long as you're willing to wait a few turns. That may be good for Shield Charger. Or maybe we go completely crazy and do a speed boost. Oh, wait, did I upgrade Bobble Burst? I wanted to upgrade Future Plans. I guess that's fine. We still don't need Future Plans upgraded just yet, but we will need it eventually, absolutely. I don't think Speed Boost is the answer. Uh, Twin Slam could be pretty crazy. So could Bobble Burst. Twin Slam, I think, just solves our block. <laughs> Uh, at least once we get to that turn. To do Piercing Hide to keep temporary buffs even more often? I don't know. Taking an Aged. Is there anything that's even that great? Like, th this doesn't cost zero, unlike uh, Bottled Anomaly. Uh, doesn't make the card cost zero when uh, brought out in turn three. Uh, turn four, actually. I don't know. I was thinking Shield Charger mainly because of, uh, you don't, maybe because you don't want to use it too early in late game fights. 
Uh, usually in hallways and deletes and actually it's still fine, but the, but the boss gauntlet uh, will definitely want it to be later. I guess right now we still are doing some stuff with speed boost, shield charger. I don't know, I, I almost just don't want to think about this. <laughs> We could copy the Bobble Burst, but copying a two-cost card with Quantum Chamber is kind of, uh... Doesn't... It's, uh, not the best thing. Also, that's a huge, uh, investment we'd be making, and kind of a risk, too. Because we'd have to get good gems for Bobble Burst in order for that to really be worth. Like, Citrine, uh, uh... Quartz would be amazing to have tripled, but... Anything else, I'm, the maximum I'm gonna be able to do is play it twice, and the third one gets unplayed. I guess Twin Slam has a similar itch issue, but at least I can, like, play each Twin Slam once and not the second slams, and then that gives me, like, three extra gems three times for Crystal Ray, which could be insane. Although I guess that means, like, uh, I would have to spend three energy, and then I have one left. So, still problems with that. Maybe if I have it stasis or something. Although, if I get Twin Slam copied and then get, like, an Accelerate Gem or Citrine, then it'd be great. Uh, I feel like if I do this, I would want to take Twin Slam, but it's also some of our front-loaded block. I don't know. I feel like that's a greedy play. I don't think it's actually doing anything for us. Like, we already have enough block most of the time. And the only other benefit would be uh, grabbing extra gems for Crystal Ray. Also, it's not really doing much damage itself, either. Piercing Hide was the other option, like I said. To reduce debuffs over and over. Especially since we have now three sources of dex. And, of course, Piercing Hide would be great to have as a dex dump, as it is a block card. That and our four defends are, like, our only block cards, along with Twin Slam, so I guess that's not even necessary either. We're not leaning into block cards at all, as like I was uh, expecting. Shield Charger, again, is just kind of carrying. So maybe I do Quantum uh, Chamber the Shield Charger. Then once turn 4 hits, we just start putting them into Stasis. That's probably good against Reptomancer, actually, because getting out of the draw early means that we're going to be able to kill the uh, daggers more frequently. We do have a d good number of attacks to do so, so I'm not too worried about that fight this time. Nemesis would be one thing that maybe would want me to keep the Shield Charger in the deck so I can uh, do a bunch of Burst Block. This is a tough decision. I usually don't want to skip Quantum Chamber, but I'm not seeing any clear way forward with it. So you know what, I think I am just going to leave this time. Sad. Okay, 18 and 15 is 33, so we can kill this outright. I'd like to clone something. Probably the vent steam? Yeah. Taking seven. Double spiker is kind of sad in uh in easy pool. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh we're future plans. Uh future plansing this, I guess. Yep. At least our strikes and defense give us brace, so playing into defensive should help quite a bit. That's exactly 37. Nice. And then this 
chart, we should be perfectly fine. Uh, maybe not perfectly fine. Maybe I should have played the Twin Slam. Never mind, we have Speed Boost. Okay. Energy Potion, that's pretty good. Aquamarine, we're taking that. Alright, can we kill this guy? We've only fought him once this entire game. Uh, clone the Strike. Yo. <laughs> okay. Do we brace three, I guess? Yeah. Oh, we have Pyramid, that's right. Right, I have Philosopher's Stone. I'm like, why is it four times five? <laughs> Awkward. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be full walking this with extra thorns. So well, that's nice. Alright, let's do our little Crystal Ray... ...thing. Maybe I should have waited a turn to do that? I don't know. Just gonna get rid of this. Don't need it. No, I couldn't have waited a turn. Too much energy. Uh, this is 12, and this is 19. Okay. Alright, that was 163 damage. Which means we'll probably be able to kill the next time around. Uh, another ruby seems good. Another ruby seems very good. Does it? <laughs> Maybe I take Tourmaline and put it in Twin Slam. Just extra damage. Because, like, uh, double socketing Vent Steam with Strength is really good in Act 1. Maybe Act 2 for big burst damage. But we don't really do things like that with this deck. We don't have any multi-attacks. Uh, and our big damage sources are Crystal Rays, which are two cost cards. So, take the Tourmaline instead. Tourmaline with Bobble Burst is okay as well. The only, the only places I would want to put this Tourmaline are in Twin Slam or Bobble Burst. And it's kind of mediocre in both. I guess it makes sense with Twin Slam. I just wanted something better, like, like I said, Amber or Citrine for Accelerator Energy. I guess if I got a Citrine, it'd go in Bobble Burst anyway, not Twin Slam. And Accelerate would go in Bobble Burst too. Okay, we'll take the Tourmaline then. Uh, there's Amber. There's an Amber. Oh, but there's also a Repulsor. Ooh. We didn't fight Hermit, so maybe we're okay without... Especially because we have Pyramid, we don't have to worry about bad draws, so maybe we don't actually need the Repulsor this game. There's a thought. Uh, no big deal on the Relics there. <laughs> Sapphire, I, don't, I still don't think I'm taking. How much is the Amber? It's 85. Yeah, we can't afford it anyways. Definitely buying the Amber, I think, even over a card remove, because the Brace 2 is real, real nice right now. What do you even put that in? Uh, roll attack, I guess? Yeah, that's still fine to do. That's still more than fine. Alright, let's take some elites. We're gonna have to go through a couple elites with uh, unsocketed gems, but that should be okay. Especially with Pyramid, it should be very okay, actually. 46. There it is. Okay, so we have Incinerate and Amber in the same hand, which means that whatever we put into Stasis, we'll be able to get out immediately. Uh, assuming we want to do that, that might be too much energy. Because uh, we got uh, Defense and Piercing Heights to use this turn. Probably just, maybe it's just Incinerate and then all of our block cards. That's actually the best play here, yeah. Also, want to use the energy potion? Hmm. All right, how much is this block for? This is 10. Uh, uh, 21. 29, and that's... 
35. Okay, so use it. Use energy to sa use energy pot to save uh, 11 HP. That seems reasonable. All right, let's uh, do piercing hide. And the best part is we get to keep both of those uh, dexterity that we just got. So that may even sa save us more HP along the way. Okay, we saved 10. Uh, whoa! I just realized we have ice cream and pyramid. We have complete control over what <laughs> and when. And all that. Ooh, okay. Um, this turn sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna... Go into defensive mode? Yeah, this draw kind of sucks. Let's do it. Guess I could have played both fence teams for three more damage. Eh. I'll save it for a turn where we might actually need it. I can't put anything into stasis. Man, this future plans up is salty about not being upgraded. It's like, I'm gonna stay at the bottom of the deck until you learn your lesson. Gosh. Uh, this thing isn't tangible. Uh, I mean, I need to clear something from my hand, right? So probably just strike, strike. Keep the rest of our energy. Then let's maybe do some damage this turn, yeah. Okay, crystal ray time. Literally, is it going to be literally the bottom card? I didn't realize it was that salty. That's a full block, so I can just do some damage. I can just kill. <laughs> wow, I do a lot more damage than I thought I did. Uh, none of these. Even Temporal Strike? I think even Temporal Strike, not, not taking. Right, we wanted to go this way for the possible four elites. Alright, what do we got? Oh, it's a big one, and it's Mercury Hourglass. Okay. Every time I see one of these big chests, I'm like, most of the time I'm going to be disappointed, because there is a higher chance of an uncommon than a rare, I think. I could be wrong. I might have to look that up. It does say on the wiki. Uh, this looks like Clone Aquamarine. Then use Amber to get more block. Yeah. Actually, I could have just done the Crystal Warden. And... No, because now I have two. Yeah, that did actually make a difference, because now I have a gem, an extra gem in my discard. Hmm. Let's save Crystal Ray for when I draw a Twin Slam. Maybe. Uh, future plans. Uh, or I could just do this. Okay. Uh, not defensive. That's great. That's great. We'll save Crystal Ray since I'm going to be weakened. And uh, energy discounts are cool. Okay, I don't want to play Strike or Defend. Wait, actually, maybe I do. Because Giant Hit only uh, starts attacking in three turns. After three turns. So next turn is the start. Okay. I have a lot of defense in hand already. Maybe I can still wait. No, you know what? I'm going to use this turn to go into defensive. And then next turn we're going to do a crap load of damage. I could keep the thorns. I don't really care, though. Uh, how about no? How about this? I cleanse the strength, uh, the strength, the weaken. Uh, this is 11. Okay. We play Twin Slam. We play Incinerate. We play Crystal Ward. We now have two Crystal Rays in hand. That's two energy. Three, four, five. Okay. This does the least amount of damage, but we want to play the Crystal Rays. Eighty-one. Eighty-six. And we'll just keep that in hand, I guess. I guess I didn't need to play the other Crystal Ward then. 
Alright, you're going in. That was a pretty good turn. Speed boost in hand, so I don't think it's cost one by effectively by playing the speed boost instead. So I have a kill here. 37, 25, 25, 21. That's over 100. If you do this first, it's 21. Then 27. Then like 29, I think. Seventy-seven. Hundred and seven, hundred and fourteen, hundred and twenty-three. I think we're just short. I could do the math exactly, but we're off if we're off by thirteen, I don't think we're gonna make it. So if we go into defensive and use defend, that's 8 plus 10 plus 11, it's 29. Actually, let's uh, do this for real. 29, right. And 47. He's 86. No, 76. Okay, so we're off by 12. I could do potion to save 9 HP. I think we need the potion for better things. Oh, I can also use this. No. I could have also used that, but I didn't. Alright, 9 HP. Could be worse. Bye. Blue candle. Nope. Not taking it. Vice potion. Mm. Another incinerate. Eh. You know, no, no. We're getting close to running out of time for gems, but I don't think we're close enough. And no, I'm not taking another incinerate. I think two is fine. Uh, do I want the flex potion here for these? No. No way. Some way? Maybe to kill... Maybe to kill the daggers at Reptomancer? Let's have somewhere like 25 HP maximum. Hmm. That may be more important than our uh, spiked energy drink. Alright, I can see that happening. So my energy drink is good, of course, just not, <laughs> just maybe not as good. All right, Tourmaline's going to Twin Slam. This is going in Roll Attack, I think. Or maybe it's Invent Steam because uh, I have Pyramid. So the turns that I want to block, I'm going to want to play more block cards rather than spend two energy on it. That makes sense. Also, I'm going to want to play this one more, most often, I think. Alright, this goes right into Bubble Burst. And now we upgrade future plans because it's been... It's, it's been hating me. Alright, you're staying at the front now. I guess I might as well play it now, since it's, uh... Or maybe I don't. What if I just don't? What if I save my energy? Hmm? What if I... Put a strike into stasis? Forty-six turn two again, my god. I have six energy. Okay. Should be enough then, for now.
three, these three would block. Well, it would be the best block I have. Maybe now I use the dupe pot? How much is this? This is 10, 16, 36, so I lose 10 if I, if I don't use this. Okay. Nope, wait, wait, hang on. Do this first, and this. Then this. There we go. So eight, I saved eight HP. I think that was still worth it. Dupe potion's great and all, but we can, I think we can still do better. There's a lot of crystal rays. We still don't have twin slam. That's okay. These are doing 49 damage apiece. Holy cow! These things scale up so hard. Uh, if if you have the uh, if you have the ability to take them, uh, and you know, of course, get get cards that actually want them to do what it's doing. We're just short. Wow. Okay, that's going in. Please stop attacking me for 46. Can you attack me for like nine times three? Eight times three? Eight times three. That's how that goes. Actually, can we just, uh... Just kill you now? Is that acceptable? Nope. Uh, clone plus. Yes. Alright, we're going left. This saves me 9 HP. <laughs> By being able to kill the middle one. Uh, we can do better than that. Oh. Yeah, we can definitely do better than that. And save my energy. And my cards. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the strike. Because in the off chance that we get an accelerate card, we can, uh... Play both of these and kill this one, in theory. Yeah, actually we can. No, not even theory. Hmm. If I had one more energy, I'd be very happy. Cloning a zero cost card is real, real good. I'll get the thorns. And the next turn we kill, anyways. Uh, yeah, probably still. Grab that that guy resurrected, but hey. Still pretty easy. Stasis strike. Uh, nope. Don't need it. Do not need it. Alright, is it ta finally time for Repto? Nope. No Repto. The one time I actually feel prepared for her, not happening. Uh, pff, wow. Right, uh, Tricky's Bolster Rod is actually functioning as a mini anchor for us. So that's nice. I'm gonna save this incinerate. Still gonna save it, even though I have Nunchaku. Yes, I'm still gonna do this. We don't have the setup for it to be good to keep in hand yet, so. Now we get to keep the block for next turn, which is the first attacking turn. Uh... I'm gonna clone this crystal ray. I don't. 
don't have piercing hide in hand, so I can't remove my weekend, but it should be okay. Didn't need to play that defend to clear hand space. Neither Bobble Burst nor Speed Boost. Wow. But I do have three Incinerates. Two. Just need to kill. Okay, four damage, still not bad. Uh, it's 446. Amber, again, awesome. I, I, now I wish I had a twin slam. Because having six accelerate in one card is a little bit overkill. I guess we can talk it into literally anything else, though. Probably the other vent steam. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... We have two accelerate in hand, we can get rid of it out immediately. A good thing for that too. Wow. I gotta be a little bit more thoughtful about using future planes because I didn't have to play that one of those strikes. I could have just made it free in a couple turns. This is still gonna full block for us. Except I am a goof. Oh well. Got greedy. Don't get greedy. This is our final chance. And now that we don't have to use this for Reptomancer, we might be able to just use it now. Which is very, very nice. I'm just gonna use Crystal Ray Radio immediately. I'm gonna throw a Shield Charger in.
Yeah, I think we pretty easily get this. Awesome. 330. Stasis field. Uh, not this time. Not this time. Maybe this time? Our defense is a little weird. Like, I felt like we've had control over it, but maybe we don't. It's definitely going to be fighting for space. Nah. Nice. No gems. Disappointing. Uh, deflecting bracers, though? <laughs> Card remove. Time to say goodbye to one of our strikes. <sighs> Shop is a little underwhelming. Membership card was good, but I don't know about the rest. I think we just duck a uh, strike and then uh, move on to Act 4's shop. Uh, we're still fighting shapes. 27. 28? Are you kidding me? I guess Clone with Bobble Burst would do something. That costs 3 energy already. Maybe Strike, then? Yeah, that'd be 31 or 32 damage. Let's just do strikes since it gives me brace as well. Just realize we're taking 19 damage. Wow. Alright, well now they're all taking 17 damage. Thorns kill one. Uh, I'm just now realizing we might be in trouble against Defect with this much HP. Right. Okay. Well, this isn't going to help anything. But I guess it's better than this. Uh, I guess we take the Repulsor now? No, we need to, like, maximize our chances of not dying to the boss here. This is very unfortunate. Turn of events at the end there. Oh, we got Shield Charger, though. Okay, maybe we're okay then. And Amber. Alright, lucky draw. It's all you need, really. Uh, was it lucky enough, though? That's the question. Uh, speed boost would certainly help. Oh, we're going in right into defensive? Awesome. 53. Uh, we're taking 57? So we play defend. Strike Crystal Ray. The other crystal ray will go into uh, stasis. Man. Uh, clone twin slam, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. And we're going to wait a turn to to do stuff with this, because it's about to get very, very crazy. Except we didn't draw... well, we drew our other Crystal Ray earlier. I mean, we might as well redraw. Fifty 
50, 75. Out of all the cards you could have picked, you picked that one. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep you. I have a clone plus. Maybe I wait to use that on Twin Slam again. Sure. Got 31 incoming. I guess we have so much accelerate that that should have just gone in. Yeah. Oh well. Didn't quite calculate out my block there. I should have. No, I just took two damage for no reason. Ooh, we are so close. 16. Just gotta do it now. <laughs> Nineteen thorns. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Now we gotta beat the merchant. Which is easier, but. Might still kill me. I think with the amount of control we have, we won't have to worry too much. I'm gonna clone this piercing hide. I'm gonna get rid of that. Might as well get rid of this now. And we'll begin grabbing some block for the next three turns. Both of our crystal rays are still in the draw pile. Defensive mode. Okay, we got one. We got one. Like both in hand when I do this. I 
I have a speed boost in hand, so I can just accelerate that out immediately. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Too bad he has a uh, artifact. I guess we can't play Crystal Ray then. We have to go into defensive. Oh, wait. I'm down one on energy. Let's hope this is enough. It's enough. Yeesh. Okay, now we can go into defensive for the bomb. block as much as I'd hoped from this. Forty-two. Alright. I'm gonna keep Crystal Ray in hand. Again. We do have Accelerate coming up, so just do that. Where things get difficult. I wasn't expecting it to get this bad. Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. We didn't draw Twin Slam. I think we're just dead. That's unfortunate. Maybe if I'd have been a little more careful, we could have... We could have won. Maybe I could have actually gotten a kill here, I don't know. I'm pretty sure... I had, I had used all my energy already. This is definitely winnable. So it's unfortunate that it worked out like this. Disappointing. I was actually really wanting that to work out. Crystal Rain build. I think the big takeaway from this was that my defense system was not as good as I thought. Because I was struggling a lot to block in that last fight. Still cool to see, uh, see Crystal Ray uh, working like that, though. To actually be dealing decent damage. I think it all just caught up with me. Yeah, I don't I don't really have anything to say at this point. Uh it was fun while it lasted though. So, you know, not a total loss. Uh, so that looks like that'll be that it for this episode then. Hope you enjoyed watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.